Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Aries, this is the Beware spread. We've got the Page of Cups, the Star, the Five of Wands, the Lovers clarified by the Ten of Swords, and we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini. So we've got the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is either um, a fight you'll be engaged in, or this is a card of a win of, at any cost, or this is a card of... Um, somebody walking away not really getting into a fight because it's not worth it but we also have the five of wands so the five of wands is also a conflict so I think the five of wands together with the five of swords this is you getting into some kind of a fight and this is where it gets tricky so we also have the page of cups and the star the page of cups is uh, an emotional offer, an offer of love, but this is a small offer. Um, usually the Page of Cups is uh, pre presented by someone who is not really sure, or someone who is shy, or someone who is just testing the waters with another person, or this is uh, an apology if you're dealing with an ex. Right? We also have the star here. The star is either an Aquarius you're dealing with, or this is a dream come true. So there will be some kind of an offer this month. I don't know if you're going to be the one extending in this offer or um, the offer will be extending to you. Uh, we also have the lovers clarified by the Ten of Swords. The lovers is either a Gemini you're dealing with or the lovers is um, a choice you'll have to make. Every once in a while the lovers can uh, represent a twin flame connection or just love at its purest form. But it's clarified by the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is an um, ending, an abrupt ending. Right? So um, you see how we've got this conflict, we've got a love offer, and we've got uh, an ending or you will most likely have to make a choice whether you want to end something or to fight for it. That's the way I see it. And uh, it's possible that there is more than one person involved because the Five of Wands together with the Five of Swords, once again, this is all about um, fighting for something, I think. So I think somebody will either be fighting for your full and undivided attention or you're going to be fighting with somebody else for another person and you'll have to make a choice at some point to either um, end it or to continue fighting basically you'll have to make a choice to uh, either escalate the five of wands to the uh, five of swords status because the five of wands is just competition it's just uh, multiple suitors trying to compete with each other but the five of swords as I was saying earlier this is a win at any cost so I think this is the, what you need to be aware of this month, that at some point during the month, if you want to fight for something, you'll have to uh, escalate the situation and use some unorthodox methods, so to speak. Uh, but don't get too creative, if you know what I mean, because karma uh, can come back around to bite you in the butt. Just be careful, don't uh, take it too far. But if you do have a dream, that you want to come true that's what I see in the star card or if, if an Aquarius is involved somehow you'll have to um, you know fight for you what you believe is it's yours or you'll have a choice to stop at some point and just walk away uh, this is the advice spread Aries we've got the ace of pentacles the nine of swords the knight of sorts, the Magician and the King of Cups. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So since we've got the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, I think this is um, what's going to be happening, or this is how you need to behave, and everything will be revolving around that. 
So the King of Cups is either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces you're dealing with, or this person, or this is the energy of a person who is um, in control of their emotions, uh, emotionally mature, but still very loving. Um, so this is either the person you're dealing with, but I have a suspicion that this is what you need to be doing. You need to be emotionally mature and uh, express your love in that manner. Um, we, because uh, when I shuffle the cards, I usually ask for for an advice and what you need to do. Areas. Um, so we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity. Um, so this is the way you need to approach the situation, I think. The Ace of Pentacles um, is an offer you'll have to make, or if this offer is uh, presented to you, then um, instead of stressing out, you need to become a magician. The magician is uh, somebody who manifests something into their life, and actually doing something about it because they realize they've got all the tools they need at their disposal. And we also have the Knight of Swords here. Uh, this is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius you're dealing with, or this is an advice again for you to act really swiftly. You need to rush in and claim what's yours, but be very smart about it. Act like a magician. Don't use brute force. Uh, present this uh, Ace of Pentacles to whoever it is you're making this offer to and uh, make sure that it looks dazzling. Make sure that uh, this person realizes that you are the magician. You can make anything happen to you. Uh, keep in mind it could be vice versa, but like I said, since uh, this is an advice for you, uh, I think this is the advice on how you're supposed to act about the situation we saw in the first spread. So instead of uh, just you know, being um, forceful <laughs> or enforceful like we know you areas can be, and I'm saying it with love obviously, you need to be smart about it, you need to be the magician, and you need to take control of your emotions and uh, come up with an offer that they will not be able to resist and that's how you most likely win in this uh, situation. Let's talk about the next good thing that will happen to you in July, Aries, that will at least put a smile on your face. We've got Strength, the Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Sagittarius. Um, I think you're dealing with this um, our sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm talking about the King of Pentacles right now, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And um, since we have temperance on the bottom of the deck, this is either you um, reuniting with this person or becoming one, so to speak. And let me explain real quick. Um, if you are if you already know this King of Pentacles, if this is someone you are in a relationship with already, and say you got into a fight or you got um, you had some kind of a fallout, then I think you'll be able to heal the situation. You'll be able to get back together. That's what the Temptions and the Three of Cups are talking about. The Three of Cups is all about celebration or a reunion together with Temperance. Because temperance is all about healing the situation, right, and reconciling with somebody. However, if uh, you don't know this person yet, or you're just in the beginning stages of a relationship with this person, then I think you'll uh, be blending in, so to speak. You'll be uh, uniting. You'll be forming a union this uh, month. Basically, uh, you'll be... Uh, sort of making it an official. If you were just dating casually up until now and there were no problems, then I think you'll be taking your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. And uh, strength here is all about passion or somebody is overcoming their insecurities to form this um, union, to form this relationship and to make it official. 
that's what I'm seeing here because um, um, strength could be all about passion or this is most likely like I said somebody is you know pulling themselves together and uh, stepping it up and uh, taking it to the next level um, so yeah it looks pretty good Aries as long as you don't take it overboard when it comes to that uh, conflict or that fight we saw in the first spread just be smart about it be in control of your emotions and uh, be the magician like we saw in the second spread otherwise it's 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 all right you know you're just being yourself <laughs> yes. um, have a great month and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.